followers, as you can see, I just got <laughs> smashed by a truck. There's blood falling down my forehead, but yeah. it's okay. Let's, let's go there and cleanse our aura. Venice, Venice, Venezuela. Venezuela. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in India, I'll get a Tata discount. This look of Tarun and Karan is so different. Lovely. Karan doesn't even eat seafood, so he has no idea what he's talking about. I know we have a beautiful view of the Bosphorus River over there. <laughs> okay. no, no. How does it taste like? Yeah. You're good. African. What is this kunefa we are having? <laughs> Important part of any trip. Can you see? Yeah. But if I was in India, I would get a Tata discount. Spoken like a true Tata employee. This is for Tarun. Because he can't function without his coffee in the morning. And my there is almond milk. I've completely switched to almond milk when it comes to coffee. You've seen how bloated I get, right? Yes. Uh, the only thing is I still get whipped cream on top. Utna dairy handle ho jata hai mujhse. But baki the base has changed to almond milk altogether. Hello. <laughs> oh, we can, we can... So, how is it going? Nice. Why are you so formal? So far so good. What so far so good? I'm warming myself up with the Starbucks. Cappuccino. Cool. Karan pe focus aa gaya. Hi Karan. <laughs> So what are you most excited for on this trip? I want to have Turkish coffee. I've heard it's Authentic. very br very brittle, bol rahi it, bitter. Yeah. It's got this, uh, it's like the powder is not filtered. So it's not fine. So it's grainy at the end. It settles down, basically. So you have to keep, and it's Achha. done on the sand. Oh, yeah, yeah, that I've seen. Karan, what are you excited to eat? Kumpir. What is that? Some potato <laughs> thing which on which you put uh, chicken and meat and stuff. Oh, nice. Hello, Sabji. What are you excited to eat? Roots. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, Shahuka bhi upvas hai for the next five days. <laughs> so, it's just fruits. Khane wala. Ashwarya, what about you? Grand Bazaar. Grand Bazaar, what are you excited to eat? The question was, what are you excited to eat? Then I changed it to, what are you excited to eat? Mm. Okay. Oh. oh, that cheesecake thing which is there. Oh, the Saint Sebastian cheesecake, yes. right? Yeah. What are you excited to eat? I am excited to eat kebabs and I want to eat a lot of seafood because we are in Turkey. Bosphorus River is good, apparently. I don't need seafood. What do you know? What do you know? What? I know. Okay, how, how is it? How what is, is the seafood? question? How is the seafood? Lovely. <laughs> Karan doesn't even eat seafood, so he has no idea what he's talking about. I know it's good. Yeah, so I don't eat it. I'm excited to pretty much taste like the local cuisine. Turkish ice cream will be excited to me. I love that. Nice. So we are currently in what bus? Havas. <laughs> Uh, so basically, if you are coming to Istanbul, never ever go for the shuttles which are in the because they were charging us 85 euro to and fro, which is roughly 16, 1700 lira, which is insanely expensive for five people. But this bus charges 53 lira one way per person. So that is a lot more affordable. Please get out of the airport, walk straight, the buses are going to be there. You can just get a ticket inside the bus and it's going to be a lot more affordable for you. Okay, so this is the bus ticket. It's called Hava Bus, I think. Um, and it's 52 lira per person and it's going to take you straight to Taksim Square. Also, we haven't exchanged any cash at the airport yet. At Abu Dhabi airport, they're giving us um, 13 lira for 1 USD when the online exchange rate is 18. So it was a no-brainer that we don't have to do it. It's 18.5 but we are hoping that we can get an even better rate uh, when we go into the market. So now we have a 90 minute journey in front of us to get to our Airbnb. So we'll see you there. So we've got a 600 meter walk to our destination. The cats here are so we have the most beautiful buildings in the street. It's honestly so convenient to explore this one. Oh my gosh! Look at this fluffy gentleman. 
Hello. Hi. Oh. Hi, beauty. The cats also seem to be quite friendly. Oh. All right, so welcome to our home. This is what you see when you enter over here. We've got one beautiful bedroom over here. Look at this, it's so stunning. And here you have, basically there's a building right in front of us, so it doesn't look great, but um, these are really narrow streets and it leads right to Istiklal Street, so that's gonna be convenient. That's Karan. We're all figuring out the plug situation. Yeah. Here we've got one bathroom over here, second bedroom here. Again, very cute attention to detail. Then, oh. hello. hello. So, this is a duple, duplex, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to take you upstairs. This is already on the third floor of this very old building. So, you know, we're gonna get plenty of steps in. This is bathroom number two, right here. Pretty nice. We've got hot water all the time. We've got bedroom number three over here. This one's a little bit smaller. Definitely will not be needing that. It's freezing here. We've got a nice dining table. We've got a little kitchen situation here. We've got a fridge, which I believe he's stocked up for us with water. Okay, that's just one bottle, but okay. Then you have this very nice sitting area here, as well as plenty of plants. And then let's go out into the balcony, the terrace, which is probably the highlight of this place. Very nice sitting area again. And right down this street at the end, that's Istiklal Street, which is the main shopping district, the main shopping street of Istanbul. And this is just a very, very convenient location. Plenty of walking to do, which is why we're all in shoes. Now let's get this day started. So we are at this place called Gulu Oglu. In in their language they've written. How, then how do you know? Because they've written we are only at this, this place. place. Okay, so this is apparently the best place for baklava. And Tarun's got some Turkish tea over here. So can you please explain what we have here? So this is chocolate baklava. Mm -hmm. This is baklava with walnut. Mm -hmm. And this is the traditional pistachio baklava. Okay. And what is baklava? Baklava. <laughs> Tarun, what exactly is a baklava for someone who's never had it? It has a... Yes, it's layer upon layer. And we've got pista... At the bottom. Uh, pista filling. This is walnut filling, this is chocolate filling. Yeah. And once it's big, then they pour uh, sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. Those are okay. and all of it mixed together on top of it. Uh -huh. And it is heavily dosed with pista. Okay. Taste test. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's for you? Ice cream, I was going to What is this? Ice cream pista. Yeah, and Tarun's having proper Turkish coffee. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You won't like it. Very, very high carb dinner tonight. To make up for all the walking we've done. 
सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड स्टेप्स सो फार अंटिल सेवन पी एम कितना होगा बाय ट्वेल्व पी एम क्या खाया वो भी तो बताओ <laughs> वो तो रिकॉर्ड हो ही रहा है हेलो वेलकम टू डे टू ऑफ द व्लॉग हेलो वेलकम टू डे टू ऑफ द व्लॉग ओके व्हाट आर वी डूइंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हगिया सोफिया ब्लू मॉस्क ब्लू मॉस्क ओ दिस इज तरुण्स आउटफिट ऑफ द डे स्टाइल्ड बाय यू ऑफ कोर्स सो वी गॉट दिस ब्यूटीफुल ओवरकोट फ्रॉम एचएनएम nice rust colored throw on which is quite thick actually so it's going to keep him warm the reason why the shoes aren't matching those or those in black mm-hmm. because we have to walk nearly 20000 steps yeah so yesterday we walked 21k and he was walking in these boots and got a very bad shoe bite so aise karke aise i did it <laughs> the point is you have to reach your aim let's go kya kar raha tha tu shahrukh khan hmm koi shan lag gaya hmm शाहरुख खान फैन इन द बैकग्राउंड जजिंग हिम बिग टाइम These are like Turkish basils. I don't know what you. It's called simit. So this is the one with the sesame. I think there's a three. How does it taste like? Yeah. It's good. It's okay. It's too crunchy. I like it. I like the Nutella. It's chewy inside. The Nutella is good. How is it? Yeah. Ashwara, what about you? I like it. The cheese one tastes better. So we've got to buy tickets for the train, and everything here is in Turkish. So it's a little bit difficult to figure this out. Can't you see any scratches? So if you want to use the train you want to get this card which you can get from any metro station from a yellow machine don't go to the information desk they'll lead you to the yellow machine anyway now there are three ways you can do this either you can get a three pass three way pass or this one which is for 50 get this because you can top it up uh, and also unlimited people can use it so for the five of us we've just got one card So if you want to get this card it costs 50 lira and top up humne 100 ka kiya so total 150 kharcha hua 50 lira mein tumhe koi bhi balance nahi milta in the card and every train ride is about 750 or 8 lira so when you are entering the train station you tap this and then you hand it to the next person next person taps it hands it to the next person and that's how five people can use one card now we're going to take the train to i don't know how to pronounce what is the station we're going to What is this? <laughs> look at me. <laughs> Just look at me. <laughs> got the Turkish breakfast. We've got pide and we've also got Turkish tea. Uh, and we're going to give you a review of how it is. I must say, compared to the place we went to yesterday, this is significantly more expensive. Uh, we got a Turkish breakfast yesterday for ninety, yeah. I believe, and here it's for. 
We're gonna ask the Middle Eastern kid here, one of the Middle Eastern kids here, rather, uh, to explain this. So this is the traditional Turkish breakfast. Let's go. Correct us if we're wrong. Yeah. Best assumption at this. This is cheese omelet. Yeah. Baba. With olives. This is baba ganoush with sesame. This is this looks like labne. Or garlic sauce. Or garlic sauce. Tum. This is tahini. I think. Tahina. This is tahini tahina. This is lasan chutney. What about that one in the corner? Jam with like, butter. Uh, we'll it's come the, back to this. <laughs> jam with butter. Margarine, spring rolls. It's the apple butter. This is Nutella. This is Kakadi. Are you there? Who will say? This is uh, some sort of cheese. Cheese. Chocolate barfi. I can smell like chocolate. Okay. This looks like marmalade. Like that, that is. This is feta cheese. Feta this is uh, gouda. Gouda. Olives. Uh, no, this is not olive. This is also olives. This is, this looks black like olives, no? Kishmish. No, black olives. Just textures like that. Black olives. Kishmish. And this, I do not know. Marshmallow. No, this is also some kind of cheese. This might be mozzarella or something. Ah, nice. Yeah. Well, New additions are this bread basket. And this is actually Tarun's cheese omelet. This mm, is the normal omelet. And the cheese. cheese. Pita cheese. Pita cheese. What is this called? Now we're going to feast because we're starving. We are now heading to this place suggested by one of my followers, which is apparently one of the best places to have baklava and kunafa in the city. However, Karan has another recommendation, which we went yesterday. So we've got two contenders Bulu -bulu. for Bulu -bulu, yes, for the best kunafa slash baklava, and we're going to find out. I will <laughs> taste the baklava here huh. and give a verdict. Yeah, because we only had baklava at the other place. Yes, we are not eating kunafa at Bulu Bulu. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> what? No, you almost got hit by the truck, right? So yeah. Like, should, if you get hit, pick up the phone. So followers, as you can see, I just got <laughs> smashed by a truck. There's blood falling down my forehead, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. So this is the location. It's called Tatliki Safa. My follower mentioned that it's like a hole in the wall kind of place. But apparently it's got good food, so let's check it out. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. Tribal Paklawa. Yeah. Oh no, actually Kunafa. Kunafa, like, yeah. We've had a lot of kunafa in Dubai, so now our standards are quite high, so let's see. Look at how much Tarun and Karan's look is different. Karan is like... Like full American. Yes, like a b-boy. And Karan is like British. Do you all want to say something in that accent? Karan is very good at accents, by the way. Is it? You didn't know that? Yeah. Two guna lagan dega. Huh? Two guna lagan dega. Tell me some accent. British. Uh, you know, actually, we've come down to Istanbul. It's an absolutely beautiful city. American. You know, man, honestly, I don't like this place so much. I African. Mean, what is this kunafa we are having? <laughs> it is a delicacy made in Singaporean. Sa Singaporean. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Like, I Australian? want to hear because same, you never speak Australian. Australian, huh? Uh, you know, uh, something about me is I was down under in a place called oh Sydney God. for about four months, and uh, it was the time of my life. Oh my! You know, God. Uh, sometimes you have to move on, and now we are. Uh, I do. <laughs> so we have this really tiny kunafa, which I mean. And for reference, I don't have my hands in Dubai, so it's so small in Dubai. Hopefully this tastes better. And there's our baklava with ice cream. Looks good. Yeah, and that's true. Time to taste kunafa because I've eaten so many kunafa. Yeah. First we look for the cheese. Oh, but this is cream, right? No, it's cheese first. They put cream on top. We ask for cream. So either cream filling me or not. I think they put it on top. Filling me or not? It's not. Around rating? You are an army cappuccino. Two. Eight. Eight on ten. That's still good. There is cheese. Well. The cheese, the cream is not helping. Uh -uh. What do you think? 
I don't like sweets, so I don't like it. Oh, pardon? Okay. It's okay. I'll give it to you. Give it. Can I start this one? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll go for it. I like it. Not that bad. Hmm, not bad. Boy, not it. Only better with the ice cream. Baklava rating? Gulugulu. Gulugulu was better than this. Gulugulu was better? Okay, so then looks like Karan's recommendation was a little bit better. One of my followers. She really liked this place. Didn't exist now, don't you? Not bad. Now it's better. So this was the blue mosque and a lot of it is under restoration. So right outside you can walk all the way to Hagia Sophia over there which looks which looks absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful, yeah. Let's let's go there and cleanse our aura. <laughs> Spoken like a true sobo kid. How do you like cleanse your aura? You just go and take in the natural positivity there and just, oh, the just let the energy just take over. It's really beautiful. <laughs> It has started to rain and my beautifully straightened hair is now unstraight and it's freezing. It's already cold. Upar se barish. So if you're planning on visiting around this time, so then please don't. 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 It's a good time to visit. But please chata carry it. Dancing to Bollywood music, specifically Garmi. 